what if, like, it's just, what if it's a disaster? I don't know. Hi guys, and welcome to a vlog that is either going to be the most exciting thing ever, or something that absolutely crushes my soul, breaks my heart, all of it. I don't know <laughs> what is about to happen. I know what I want to have happen. There are just a lot of moving parts, but as you can probably tell by the title, I want a dog. And not just any dog, I very much so want a puppy. And like technically getting a puppy was never my goal, but over the past few months, it really hit me that I very much so want a dog, which for a lot of people is a very normal thing, not a big deal, except when your husband doesn't want one. And it's not Zach's fault, by the way, like don't comment and be like, Zach's a soulless person, like how could he not want a dog? When we met, we both were like, you, we don't want dogs. Like it was an agreed upon thing. And I am the one in my relationship, we've been dating, well not dating, we're married now, but we've been together almost six years. I suddenly changed my mind and changing your mind about something is the weirdest thing ever because it's you, like it's me who used to think these things, but now for reasons that I cannot explain, I, I've i just, I've changed my tune, okay? I want a dog. And so it was always I really, really, really wanted to rescue a dog at any type of shelter or rescue group. My mom, as you guys know, rescued Walter and just seeing that whole story unfold, like really, I feel like that's honestly one of the big reasons I got dog fever. It just really like, touched me, I don't know. So I follow quite a few rescue groups on Facebook in my area, and then it was about a week ago-ish where I saw they took in a litter of puppies and the mom. They actually found the mom in the back of a car. The man is now in jail who owned it, and she gave birth to all these puppies. They were going to take them to the shelter, but there was no room at the shelter, and they were going to euthanize them. And there was someone, some family, I'm going to meet them today, who took them in to foster. And that brings me to where I am now, where I want to look at the puppies. So I, I really, I brought all of this to Zach and I told him my dreams, my, my goals in life, how I feel. And he really has come around, especially because I have the time. Obviously with this job and doing YouTube full time, I have the time. So he is not giving me a definite yes right now. What he is doing is he's agreeing to at least see the puppies and that is what we are doing today. We're going to see them and potentially choose our puppy, but it's not a done deal. And I, he told me last night, like <laughs> I really need to temper my expectations because another huge thing, Zach and I are like minorly allergic to dogs. It's not every dog, it's certain breeds. And the problem with rescues, which adopt, don't shop, rescue all the way, but they're, they're almost always mixes. So you don't actually really know what you're getting. So we really need to meet the puppies and like see, it's gonna be the ultimate test. Do we start sneezing? Are our eyes itching? Like there's like, my heart is like really not gonna be able to handle this not happening the way I want it to happen. I'm just like, I just want it so badly. And my mom was joking that I should uh, slip Benadryl in Zach's smoothie. But I was saying he's gonna fall asleep. He's gonna be like holding the puppy and then just pass out. For the record, obviously I do not plan to drug Zach. Don't worry. I wanted to show you guys though, this tool that I added into my skincare routine. I use it about four times a week. Coolest thing ever, it's called the Blooming Face Pro. They sent it to me about two months ago, two or three months ago. It actually uses microcurrents to tighten, tone, decrease puffiness, help with double chin, tone the jawline, and I have noticed such a difference. So I'm gonna turn it on, and you can choose different colors based on your goals. I always go with green. You put it right on your face, it instantly starts vibrating, and you can feel it going to work. I have tried in the past to use gua sha. I have tried the whole face roller thing. I never noticed a difference and that's why I just gave up on it. I'm gonna stick to this right side of my face and you are going to watch as this side actually like visibly lifts compared to my other side. It is the craziest thing ever. And I go through a few different positionings. This is actually my favorite one. It really gives it that lift. You can go up over here. I've always had more of a round face, so I've never had like that chiseled look, which I've wanted. And for the first time ever, even just like throughout my last few vlogs, I've noticed where the hollows of my cheeks are. And I normally, like that doesn't exist for me normally. It's the craziest thing ever. One of my favorite areas to do is this jawline, which I also have noticed. I feel like has been a lot more snatched. Oh my gosh, okay, you can literally see this side of my face so much more lifted than this. And I must immediately 
even them out but this has just been like the coolest little part of my routine that i feel like actually makes a difference and at first i was really skeptical like i don't know just especially with my history of like the ice roller gua sha and none of that has ever worked for me and this is the first thing that i feel like actually visibly lifts and gives me that like i don't know like i've never had like the what is it sheet not cheat like the hollow like whatever the hollow is i've suddenly noticed also it just feels so good but as for the price normally this thing is 150 dollars blue mean is offering 70 dollars off for the first 100 people who use the link below which is a huge savings especially for this thing a lot of these i've seen on the market go for so much that's why i've never tried anything like this and the best part is if you don't see results you don't have to pay and on top of that, they're giving you guys a free ebook full of face tightening secrets with your purchase. So I'll have all of that information below. Thank you so much to Bloomin for working with me on this video. We have a wild Zach who just got back from his workout <laughs> and he's feeling really excited to look at the puppies today. So how many of them have been taken already? A uh, one. What are we down left to? <laughs> what are the we? last one. The rump. <laughs> yeah. So one has been claimed, and I think there's a man going there today to claim another. So we'll have four. So the two good ones are gone already? Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> they're done, so. No, yeah. I mean, it'll be uh, interesting to see what uh, we think. <laughs> AK, what you think. <laughs> yeah, I guess. My mom said I should slip Benadryl in your smoothie this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... So I just fall asleep? <laughs> that's what I said. I said, Mom, if anything, I would do Claritin. So Zach is definitely, I mean, we can discuss more in the car, but like he's definitely come around more than he was. Well, no, I'm I'm the more practical thinker of the two of us, and you are just thinking this is going to be more warm and cuzzy cuddles and not poop and pee. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, warm and what? <laughs> Say what did I say? <laughs> warm and cuzzy. Oh, uh, that's like cozy. <laughs> Yeah, hello. He's all tongue tied. Mother. Zach already came up with like a possible name and everything. Yeah, because I've been asked six times a day, <laughs> what should we name the dog that we don't have? We'll see. We just gotta see. That's the game. That's we'll the just game take game. a peek at them and from a distance. Yeah, you're not gonna touch them. I have allergies. Zach. No, it'll be fun. I mean, I like dogs. I grew up with dogs. I. Like when I feel like when we're around dogs, I pet the dog more than you do. I just think with me going back to work full time and I know how many hours of work you put in, that it's going to be tougher to train a puppy than you might think, but maybe we do it with ease. Who knows? Uh, well, I definitely don't think that's the case. But... I don't think that's the case either. <laughs> It's official. We are en route. There's no going back now. Okay. I could turn this ship around pretty quick. <sighs> We're like less than 20 minutes away. How are you feeling? We'll have to see after we uh, see the pups, I guess. Zach, this could be your future son. Yeah, so it's... Can't wait. He is so excited. <laughs> but you are really, right? A little bit? I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold. Guys, it's official. We are on our way to pick up our firstborn son. Zach is just filling up his car with some gas. <laughs> the excitement is insane, but I want to play a little game, okay? 
I'm going to put all of the puppies on the screen. It was a litter of six. And if you don't know already, I mean, some of you might based on like Instagram or other things, but if you don't know already, I want you to guess which one we chose. So here are the six. And funnily enough, you can break them up into pairs. So for example, Rip and Loki really look like boxers. They believe the mom is a boxer mix. Then you have Churchill and Sinatra who are just like pure in their coloring, just like this really gorgeous coat. And then you have Sherlock and Kiara. Kiara was the only girl, by the way. And they really look like Mastiff with that like black mask on their faces. So I want you to guess, pause the video, comment below. And it's not, it's not which one you would pick, which one do you think I would pick? And by the way, Zach has gotten so excited about this. Like, do you remember in the beginning he was, you know, like, no, we're not getting a dog. I don't want this. This could be your future son. Yeah, so it's, can't wait. Well, the past week, he has brought up our son like a hundred different times. Like he is so excited and it's so cute and I'm excited, but I'm also really nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm just nervous. Like what if the dog actually hates us? What if like, it's just, what if it's a disaster? I don't know, but we will see. So next time you see me, I'll be with my firstborn son. Is dad running some errands? Is he running some errands? <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, this is my new puppy. And he is maybe the cutest thing I have ever seen in my life. Also, his tail is wagging so much. I hope he's not about to pee, but he has been so good. We just stopped at the store to uh, pick up lunch for us, but he has just been so good. Oh, it's okay. He really has been so good this whole car ride. As soon as we got there, all of the puppies were sleeping together, which is kind of really sad. It was their last time all sleeping together. And like, I just feel like what we're doing right now feels so mean, like taking him away from his mom, from his brothers from his sister but in the long run it's like what has to be done because I was even considering like should I adopt two puppies like if that's gonna help him and you know give him a buddy but based on everything I read online if you take two puppies from the same litter it's just gonna be awful for them in the long run they're never gonna be independent they're gonna cling on to each other they might not bond with you as the owner and then eventually one of them I was reading like will become like the strong one the other will become like the weaker one and it'll cause huge problems down the road so this is Asher guys sorry the lighting is really weird but he is what I would probably call more toward the runt of the litter I don't know I don't even know if that exists in this group like they're all great He's definitely on the smaller side, which we think he has part Mastiff, so we're kind of happy. I mean, when I say smaller side, I mean of the litter. I think he's probably like a bigger puppy than most, but we have no idea how big he's going to get. It's kind of like, it's kind of scary, but obviously no matter how big he is, we will love him just the same. And I just can't believe how calm he is. And the craziest thing is, guys, as soon as we arrived, the puppies were all like laying in that thing. He ran up to us out of all of them like what the heck you ran you chose us you chose us and by the way his birth name is sherlock but we are naming him asher funnily enough when zach first so first of all i knew zach was gonna have to be the one to name the dog i am the one who really convinced us to get one like zach was the one who you know really didn't want one at first so i knew zach would be the one who named it we came up with three names up with three names and Asher was the one I liked the least. And I was like, ah, oh, like not Asher. But then as soon as we saw him, this guy, I was like, oh my gosh, this is an Asher. So we love you so much. You are our baby. I have to stop with the baby talk by the way. Do you like baby talk or no? You're not really that much of a fan. You're my little baby. And this blanket he's on right now, by the way, I brought to their house so that all of the puppies could like play with it bite it, do whatever. I wanted all of their scent to be on it so that he's a little more comforted tonight and it feels like he's with them because I have a feeling tonight could be a long one. All right, Zach is now in the car with us. What are your thoughts right now, Zach? He's been an A-plus pup so far. We're excited to have him. And explain like compared to the litter. Yeah, I mean the litter was kind of nibbling on me and like more excited and you can tell just rambunctious and he's been very very calm so I think we got the runt of the males I think at the moment we're happy about that I know like uh, there was one puppy which you know no hate no hate to this puppy but um its tooth got caught in my sweater because it was trying to bite me so much and I had to like detangle my sweater from my tooth knock on wood and I know from this is going tooth. I said that yeah. he has not bitten us once like not even like a nibble and so he's just been like 
the best puppy ever. I cannot believe it. Are you just like so happy right now? No, I think we both are. What is this? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, you want to come to mama? Ew, I hate myself with my baby talk. I can't stop. It's impossible. He's so cute. <laughs> no, he knows what's good. Yeah, with dad. Tail's wagon. Oh my, I finally get, I always used to make fun of parents, they're like, my Cynthia is like the top of her, of her class. Like, this is the best dog that's ever existed. <laughs> Actually, he's the most handsome, he's the cutest, he's the funniest, he has the most charisma. Look at that, you got your own little toy, <laughs> Asher! <laughs> Just what? Her up. Oh my gosh, you don't even, oh my gosh, you don't even know how cute you are, Asher! We're gonna look back on this video, by the way, and be like, can you, oh my gosh. He's growing himself. Can you believe how young he was? Yeah, don't, those, those are the ones that can't like, they don't up. Okay. They're rusted. Yeah, 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 definitely. Asher. I'm literally in love. Asher, come here. Come here. What is that? What is that? What is that? Are you playing soccer? What? Are you a soccer boy? <laughs> you did get the crazy one. Oh, puppy. He sticks the landing. So Zach is currently getting Asher his crate and a couple of other things I ordered on Petco. I wasn't sure what size to get because obviously we're going to be, we are going to be crate training and we're going to be doing like a little divider in there for when he's a puppy because if the crate is too big, he'll pee in one section and then sleep in the other. But if it's smaller when he goes to bed, typically dogs don't pee where they sleep. So that can help with that. And honestly, I do not know what to, well, actually I was about to say, I don't know what to expect for tonight, but I do because I do remember when we brought home our puppy Molly, night one is when they're missing their litter mates, they're missing their mom. It was just nonstop barking and actually like howling. Like I had never heard those noises before. It's just like really hard for them. So that is most definitely going to be happening tonight. I have decided, I really do think the crate's gonna be in our room. I just think it'll help him. I think it would be so scary to just come to a new place and then they put you in this crate all alone, isolated. He will be locked up, obviously, but at least he can see us, hopefully. So that is the game plan for tonight. And I have to say, so choosing a puppy when we first arrived last week, how are you supposed to choose? They're all so cute. And you always read online, by the way, I chose the one that ran right up to me. That didn't happen for us. When we arrived, they were all just together and they were all running up to us. We didn't have like a special moment with one. And we were actually between Churchill and Sinatra, the two that just had like that pure coloring. And we couldn't decide between either of them. They're both so similar. They're probably the most rambunctious out of all of them. I couldn't make up my mind. I was like, how the heck do I choose? Finally, I said, wait, why, why aren't we even thinking about Sherlock? Cause we didn't want a female. So Kiara was out and then Rip, the foster parents are actually gonna keep Rip. And then Loki had already been chosen as well. And I just, I could not figure out how the heck to choose. Like they were all so perfect and just cute and amazing. But suddenly we were like, wait, why not Sherlock? That was his, that was his birth name. I don't know if it was like the black that like turned me off at first. Not really, not really. Were his ears? Not really. Don't worry, Asher. I don't know, like the pure ones almost look like models. Like if, if you were to say that, like they just looked so like handsome. And then all of a sudden I was like, wait, what about Sherlock? They put Sherlock in my arms and it's just, I was just like, wait, I think this is our puppy. First of all, he, I feel like he weighed a solid five pounds less than the others. Like I said, he's like the runt of the litter but he was so calm in our arms. The other ones were squirming around, which that's a puppy, like there's nothing wrong with that. But he just was in my arms so calm. 
I passed him over to Zach and he just, we, I just looked at him as he was just in Zach's arms, so calm. And I was just like, this is our puppy. So that's how we chose. I am just, I'm so happy. And it's so funny. Like it's just such a, like an unknown of how big this guy is gonna get. Like we have no idea. All we know is that his mom is a boxer mix and she doesn't even look like a boxer. But also I feel so bad. His mom is just really having a hard time. She's never been socialized. And the whole time we were there, she was just barking so much. And like, she's just so petrified. And I'm doing a little voiceover here to add that it's probably just the circumstances. I mean, we are strangers coming into the house, taking her puppies from her, which by the way, she was separated from. So it probably just was that circumstance that really was hard for her and it, ugh, it just it was so sad to watch but i think she's still available for adoption if you are interested i will leave the rescue group below they have so many awesome dogs that just need loving homes and i know that these next few months are going to be very trying especially with the potty training in seven degree weather like it is right now but i'm willing to do it all for my little asher like how could you not fall in love with that face all right i wanted to come upstairs to show you guys our current situation zach just picked up the crate and what we are doing as new puppy owners we thought this could be like another fun little area for him to explore we just put the tarp down because honestly my big goal coming into this was like he's gonna be potty trained in four days it's just not happening with all of the snow outside and how cold it is it's just, it's mean to keep him out there for more than three minutes. It's just, it's too cold. So this will at least protect our hardwood floors because we're not trying to ruin those. Also, I got the wrong size gate, but no big deal. Just edit some boxes. I also just got in the mail his food and water bowl, which for when he gets older, I got it with like a, a large stand because I just think it's a lot better on their necks. I think it's not good for them if they're constantly strained to get their food and water. So eventually we will, you know, put this together, but since he's a puppy, this is just gonna be good enough. Also got toothbrush, some puppy toys, training bites, a collar for when he gets big. The foster family actually gave us some of the food he's been eating, which is nice. We just got a whole big uh, bag of that as well though, but it's good because you're not supposed to like abruptly switch their diet. They could get sick that way. And then over here, I've got my puppy boxes. This one's kind of empty because all of his toys are downstairs, but I just got a few fun little toys for him. The Kong is always so good. You could fill it with just about anything. I mean, whether it's a treat or peanut butter, I happen to get this Kong filling so that can really keep them distracted for quite some time. Uh, some of the toys I got, by the way, are for like teething, like chew toys. This is supposed to be really good for them as well. I also got this brush. We've got some dog wipes for when he comes inside. A whole bunch of, uh, what is it, poop bags. Lint rollers, that's for us. I got some training pads, but my mom told me I actually shouldn't put that in his crate because he's just gonna eat them. So I don't I don't know if I got these for no reason. We'll see. I could always donate them to a shelter though. And then I think we're gonna give him a bath. So I just got this Burt's Bees for puppies. And then, gosh, yeah, I think that's it for now. Oh, I also got him this orthopedic bed, which feels really fluffy. Obviously, this is for when he's older because it's huge. And we are really, really, really going to try like no couches. Like we just we don't want that. I love my dog, obviously. I have a very nice bed for him. It's just not gonna be the couches, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I cannot even imagine how frustrating training is going to be. Like just when we're in the basement, I'm telling him to sit. He's never heard that word before. I'm telling him off or leave it. Like these are all foreign words and I feel stupid even saying them because I'm like, he doesn't know what this is but I just have to keep saying it so that he, you know, repetition. I seriously, I'm not kidding guys. I went nuts on the puppy training. This book was really good, especially for the puppy period. This one, okay, so I actually only read half of it about, you can see where I folded the page. Caesar Milan, he's definitely a controversial figure and I'm, I'm really just, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna be training my dog how he trains his. However, I think he did have some helpful information, but some of it, I don't know, I just, I just don't agree with necessarily. And then this book was low key the best one. It's Oh My Dog. I thought this was a vet when I bought it. It's Howard Stern's wife, who just so happens to love dogs, but she also interviews veterinarians. It, it was really helpful. I could not believe that this was Howard Stern's wife. So yeah, it's obviously gonna be a lot of trial and error, I'm sure. My next few vlogs will probably be pretty puppy focused. Don't worry, this isn't changing into like a puppy channel, but I always say my vlogs are just my life and Asher happens to be my world right now. And also you can really see right here just how much snow we got. I mean, 
Yeah, <laughs> not the best time to take home a little pup, but we will persevere. But seriously, I love him so much so far. And just the idea that he was going to be euthanized is insane. He has so much love to give. And like, it just, I'm so happy I have him, but it genuinely like makes me want to hysterically cry just thinking about the fact that there are a million and one of him. Like there are so many dogs out there that need to be saved and not enough homes. And that's why it is so important that we get him neutered and that, you know, people spay their dogs and like, it just, it sucks. And listen, I'm never gonna judge anyone. Like if someone has their heart set on like a purebred golden retriever, that's what they've always wanted. I'm not gonna judge someone. I'm not gonna hate on them, but rescuing like really is the way to go. Like it just really is. There's just so many dogs who need our help. And I really love them. Good boy, that's such a good boy. And you're gonna be so handsome. It's two days later. We took a little break from filming yesterday and I have never been so happy in my life, I don't think. Like he, I, I just, I, do, I don't even wanna get into it right now because I could cry. He's just like everything I've ever wanted and more. And that, I, I just did not expect that. Like I, I just, I don't know. And you guys saw it in the car right there. Like I'm like, is he just gonna be like, is he just not gonna like bond to me? Is he gonna hate me? Is he going to like just be awful? I don't know. Like you just don't know what to expect. And he has just been like the best puppy ever. But I think I'm gonna end this vlog here and then film our first week together. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to be subscribed if you're not already to see just the journey with Asher. Because I already know, like I know there's gonna be a regression. Like it's like puppy cuteness, puppy awesomeness. Oh my gosh, it's great. I know, we have, we have a lot to uncover. A lot is in store for us, not all good, but I'm like, I'm in, I'm in it. I'm, I'm on the journey, I'm happy about it. Once again, I will have that rescue below as well as that link for Blooming. The first 100 people will get $70 off and the free ebook, which is such a good deal and I cannot recommend it enough. So I'll have all of that below and hopefully the next time you see me, I'm not, on here like crying like oh my gosh it's just it's been awful you can probably see by the way the bags under my eyes i'll get into it more in the next vlog it hasn't been total sunshines and rainbows sleep deprivation it's definitely happening but we'll get into that in the next vlog for now i'll talk to you guys later bye